writing quick. When they're all experienced writers, they were very good. So uh, I was fine with that. So in this uh, video, I'm going to set up the Red Verse Expedition Series 210, and you can watch basically in real time almost. Uh, and once I get there, first we're going to ride all day to get to the campsite. Now here I'm starting out with some friends. They're from the BMW Motorcycle Club but I end up getting separated from them soon. Mostly because they're much more experienced riders and I'm just not that good. But also because I'm still pretty much traumatized from my close call that happened the year before. February push was February of 2016. Now, if you want to see that, the videos are numbers 33 through 36, where I go into some detail about it and take you back to the site and talk my way through it. But again, those are older videos, 33 through 36. So here I am writing. I end up in the desert. I'm by myself now. I'm just, you know, trying to enjoy the day and navigate my way to where we had all suggested we end up meeting, which is up in the hills in, in the actual park in Kernville. It looked like some kind of orchard happening, flat, but near some small hills. And then all of a sudden, you're, you cross, I don't know, some kind of an intersection, and boom, you're in the mountains like this. <laughs> like literally across, across the street, you're literally it's a mountain of like this. There's a water down there to the left. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, a river. And this is sort of like, you know, we're, we're in it now. I think this is Kern County, which is what I want. Because I'm trying to meet these people. But uh, I, want, I wish I'd recorded her a little earlier. I had no idea the change would be so sudden. But I was trying to share that with you. You see these 30 mile per hour, you know, zigzaggy mountain roads now. And now we're basically entering the mountain range, I think. And it's going to stay like this the rest of the rest of the way. Look at the water. It's amazing. It's, it's still hot, but it's, I can feel the air is cooler. And with water right there. You know, the ones that can pull over here, dive in, cool off. Look at that first. See, entering Sequoia National Forest. So this is it, we're entering the forest now. The Sequoia National Forest. This is where the campsite is. So I ended up catching up with my friends in Kernville. I'm sure you can see a little theme going here. All of our favorite bikes. There's mine. And by the way, the Red Verse tent is inside that black double bag under my helmet, as well as my Kermit chair and a few other things. The poles I ended up putting inside the side cases. But everything fits, and as you can see, the overall package is not that big. Riding all day, it's time to set up the tent. 
first thing you want to do is figure out where to put it. And once you find a space you like that's going to accommodate the size, because it is bigger than usual, you're going to want to clear off any rocks and sticks, stuff like that, that might uh, damage the floor. I actually got my tent uh, second hand, and it came with the floor footprint for the for the uh, sleeping area. So all of that is already connected. Um, the other thing you want to do is aim the smaller end, the sleeping area, towards any wind or wherever you think there may be a potential for wind during the night. I like starting off by assembling the poles first. It doesn't matter which pole you do first. Uh, in this case, the copper ones were on top, so I just started with them. Both the copper poles are identical and interchangeable, so it doesn't matter which side it goes in or which way. You just slide them into those uh, partial sleeves that are at the top of the tent, in it, sort of in the eaves area. And the copper poles um, are obviously kind of reddish, and they, the sleeves for them are marked with some red at the end there, you can just see. So it's pretty simple and straightforward as far as where they go. I brought mine too. You know, well, you've, got to have, you've got to have a chair and sleep. Yeah. Nothing else. I hear a lot of people say that. I mean, the more experienced people are, the more they're like, you know what, I want a chair. I'm tired of sitting in the dirt. I'm tired of sitting on the top of rock. Oh, I mean, it just, to me, it makes all the difference in the world. I mean, I've been, like, my knees are killing me. I've been riding all day, and then I'm going to sit in the dirt? Come on. I'm going to sit on a rock? Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm going to get a set of chairs. And I went through, I went through, first off, I bought a, uh, an attachment to my thermal rest. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Where Folds I could it up. fold that and use that. That was okay, but it was like, you're on the ground. Super chintzy, yeah. And, you know, if you had a beer or two, or even not. Thank God it's not far to fall. Well, yeah, but it's getting up to hold on. No, he can't get up. <laughs> now, some people stake down one end first before they insert poles yeah. into the sleeves yeah. you want that one? and you can do that there's nothing wrong with that really i like doing the poles first because it sort of gives me one last chance to rearrange the whole structure if i want to because it's not actually stapled down to the ground yet it's not that big a deal but i just do it that way as having one last chance to make it change that's not too big a deal once it's staked down and then you want to move it, well now you got to unstake it and, uh, you know, after writing all day, the last thing I want to do is repeat work, basically, so I try not to. Just like when I'm on the bike on the road, I like having options and I like leaving my options open. I don't want to commit to anything and trap myself, although in this case it's really not that big a deal. Now, on the larger Redverse tents, mine's the Expedition 2, and currently they have one called the Atacama. This is in 2017, 2018. There's a third pole which goes over the sleeping area, and I'm just assembling at the silver pole there. And that sleeve on the tent itself is also marked in silver. So again, it's very self-explanatory if you're just paying a little bit of attention as to where it goes where. I think the next thing I need to invest in and it's all very easy to put together. 
<laughs> I'm obviously not moving very fast here. I'm talking and you know socializing. This is not a race. Put it like that, please. And I'm basically halfway Thank done. You. Put my garbage chair together, please. Where's my beer? What's wrong with this hand? I'll be in the sidecar. <laughs> yeah, you want to go in the sidecar? <laughs> four stakes in. Go well, two stakes first and then the poles and then two more stakes and it should be ready for deployment. Uh, so if these are mine, can I borrow you with Now I've reached the point of staking down the sleeping area. This is the side that would be facing into the wind. Do that first. That way, if it even is windy, um, you're securing that down, and it's gonna kind of do yourself a favor there. Hold it down for you while you deal with the rest of it. This was a very simple setup in a very calm, mild conditions. There's nothing to worry about really. But I just do it the same way every time, so I'm doing that. the sleeping side first. Huh? Mine, I do just the fly. Yeah. Because Eric did his first too. Mine, the fly, I set up with the tents inside already pre hung. Oh. You do one thing. Oh, yeah. And then it's already there. Though. Oh, that's okay. I'll show you if you want when you want to. That's a good size tent too. You're going to have plenty of room. I can put my bike in there. That's awesome. Now once you get the thing staked down on one end, you can hook the end of the pole through metal grommets, which are at the end of those side straps. Very simple. Make sure the poles are centered in the sleeves before you try to fit the ends into the grommets. If you do have to make an adjustment and or center the tent, Always pull on the tent or push on the poles, push the pole up into the sleeve. Never pull on the pole because it could come apart, it could disassemble inside the sleeve and that's just going to cause more problems. So remember to always pull the tent towards you and over the pole or push the pole up and into the sleeve across the tent if you have to.
So you put sand in the fabric. Yeah, on the pools. Sand in the fabric, put the pools in it. That's better. Now you're ready to pull the tent up from the front. So with hammer and two stakes in hand, grab the end straps and pull it up. Hey George, that's in the street. Mark! Holy smokes, guys. God damn, it's all home week. Grab those uh, corner straps and pull it tight. Then stake down the corners, just like you stake down the other end. Now there are four clips on the longer red poles and two on the smaller silver one. So I start snapping them on as I walk around and make final adjustments here. You just straighten out the poles, you can lift them up, make sure everything's spread out properly, tight, and then clipping up the tent to the pole helps finish it off. Again, as you can see, it, this really wasn't uh, a rush. I didn't do it as fast as possible. Maybe this took 12 to 15 minutes with me talking and chatting and you know, things like that, socializing. And this is basically the fun, you know, minimal basic setup. We do a lot more. It's all I needed here. Set mild conditions, it wasn't raining, it wasn't windy. We are sort of in like in a little canyon valley area. But you can do more. You can secure it further with the stakes on the side. There's at least three. And you can see the little guy lines which are actually attached to the tent itself there, right around waist level. There's a few on the side and and a couple on the ends as well, front and back. So there's a lot you can do, extra stuff you can add on to if you want to make it more secure. So I hope that helps people understand what's involved in more of a real-time situation in a real campsite, not in someone's backyard. So thanks for watching, hope you got something out of it. If you did, give us some thumbs up so that we can find it. Talk to you later. Bye. My picture in the small side and the big side is pointing at. Floats up fairly easy. Now I'm going to put my mattress in there so it's self inflate. So just about the time I'm ready to tip over, it'll be all ready. That's hilarious. I almost had an accident myself. <laughs>